guys welcome to my channel this is ruby q crafts and today i have an unboxing and it is from dreamer designs if you were at my live yesterday friday you would have known that i got <laughs> two dreamer design images and i said that i was going to do an unboxing so here it is and i like their boxes i think they're cute i like the the space design and like the rainbow, like, yeah, box. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, all right, let's check out what's in here. Also, if you didn't know, Dreamer Designs have these handles so that you can carry the box with you if you need to or want to. I think it's pretty neat. All right, so this diamond painting is from an artist that I really, really love. Oh my God, why is it so hard to cut out? Okay, here we go. It comes in this little bag, which is cool. It has like a drawstring, awesome possum, purple ribbon right there. I like how they have them in, I swear, I, I actually really like this. I like that they have them in these bags. Um, here are our drills, and then we have another little bag. It's our toolkit, and it comes in this cute little bag as well, drawstring bag. And I like that they close it so that it doesn't fly everywhere because no one likes their tools being tossed around in their box. Right, let's take a look at their toolkit real quick. Okay, because they, they have like a bougie toolkit, it's like a lot of things in here. So we have our baggies, we have our killer tweezers. Be careful because these are very sharp. Um, I've had these actually <laughs> embed themselves, it's their fault, into my foot. Like, not these specifically, but this type of tweezers. Okay, so then here we have some multi-placers. I'm not a big fan of the rounded multi-placers. Only because when I'm placing them around other drills, the ends, the end drills won't place properly. Um, so anyway, they have a straightener, a squishy, two little things of wax, another squishy, and two trays, Okay. So this comes with, this is pretty cool too. It comes with this type of tip for single placing and this one. Um, two different types of tips that you can try out to see which one you like. So pretty cool. Okay, so let's take a look at this kit. Again, they are poured glue, okay? With this, um, what the hell would this canvas be? I don't know. It's a canvas, regular canvas. It's not your soft back, but it's fine. All right, so... Here we have Snow Queen, okay? Um, I, oh my gosh, I love it. I, ooh, what is this? Oh, you guys, look at this. Okay, so I haven't got their kits in a while since I got um, the Rainbow Bright one. So I think they changed it up a little bit because uh, the Rainbow Bright didn't have this. This is a legend, but they're stickers. So you see that? You can put these stickers on your containers or baggies, whatever you are going to kit your drills in. So, And then they give you extra ones at the bottom. I think that's that's pretty smart. I'm glad that they changed that and they did that. Here we have a little flyer. It tells you about the community. It tells you instructions on how to diamond paint. Let's put that to the side. So it, it comes like the, around this foam roller um i used to be like oh my god why do they do that if it's poured glue but it makes sense because if your box gets crushed by any reason i mean it did come in a box so it's like a box within a box but for whatever reason if it ever gets squished this would prevent your canvas from getting squished and wrinkled so okay that's pretty cool okay all right anyway let's take a look at this so this is actually a freaking huge, huge diamond painting. Okay, look at her face. Her face is as big as my hand. Let me zoom out a little bit for you right here. You're going to hear the kids in the background. Okay, so this is Snow Queen. And she is freaking gorgeous. Okay, I love it. I love the way that she looks in this. Now, I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to roll it down like this so that you can see the bottom as well. But you see the detail, like... I think that the rendering for this one is great, especially for um, it being a portrait. I think they did a really good job. They have the legend on the bottom left corner and it's actually really big. So you're able to see it. You don't have to squint your eyes or anything. Cause I'm blind. 
Um, and then top right corner. I was like, wait, which one's left and right? Here it says Snow Queen, legally licensed from Curtis Reykjavik, design size 60 by 80 centimeters, which is 23.6 by 31.5 inches long, okay? In size. Now, stay, stay, stay. All right, so I'm gonna show you something that I really like about Dreamer Designs. Um, another company that I know does this is Diamond Ducks. So do you see this edge right here? This edge is all around, okay? This edge is all around the diamond painting. So what this means and what this does is when you're done, when you're, if you want to cut it and frame it, you just cut outside this and you won't get anywhere near your drills. I hate when I cut around my, my drills, like, you know, to, to frame it and I accidentally cut too close to the drills or a drill comes off. Okay. So this is kind of like a guide and it, it'll help you, um, not only cut it like straight, right. It'll help you when you're framing because you won't have your drills at the edge of your frame either, you know? So that's pretty good. I like that they do that. It's different. The only other company that I know does this is Diamond Dots. So great job right there. Now, since we're here already, I'm going to show you the drill field. I believe, what is this? Squares or rounds? This looks like it's like rounds. Okay, yeah, rounds. I, it's not a square. My bad. Sorry. I've just been getting a lot of squares. So I assume this one was a square, but then I look at the at the symbols and I'm like, wait a second. So this is a round diamond painting, which I'm happy about because you guys know I'm working on a diamond painting that is square and I want to transition to a round because you get burnt out after a while. But anyway, here are the symbols for that and they are clear. Dreamer Designs have clear symbols. I do want to mention something real quick because I've been hearing it a lot lately um a lot of people are complaining about the shading in her face they're saying that this part right here looks like she's bruised up but that's the that's the shadowing of the image and Curtis Reykjavik does a lot of dark themed images okay they're called damsels okay and to me it kind of gives a character because it's not supposed to be like a beautiful image of a woman and because as you can see, she has like a very long neck and like, I don't know. So there's something about his work that is just kind of creepy, if that makes any sense. So they're not supposed to be beautiful, like gorgeous portraits of a woman. They're supposed to be like creepy, like their heads are way too big. Their eyes are huge. Like So when they were saying about the shading or whatever, it looked like bruising. I was like, no, it's, it's just the shading. Like it's it's supposed to look that way. Okay. And I'll post a reference picture right here so you can see. It's not, it's not as bad. Also, if you guys notice how nice the trees look in the back, like, do you see? This is this is what I like. Like, I like this. I like that it it has like dimension. You can see the trees, okay? Um, over here in the back, the snow. Let's see, like her dress. You can see her boobs. <laughs> I mean, I, I love it. I love this image. I thought it was very beautiful and I just, I had to have it. Okay, so let's take a look at the drills now because I know you guys want to look at the drills. So it is getting darker outside, so I turned on my ring light, but yeah. Anyway, so here are the colors. We have gray. We have this like light gray blue. Uh, these two purples. I'm like, wait a second. What colors are these? Ruby, come on. Purple. A lot more grays and dark grays okay next up we have this what color would this be like a peach pink we have a brown blue um rose pink and then we have that light pink light peach we have black and blue and this what would call it, like a light wine color Dusty Rose? Shit, I don't know. Uh, next up we have blue. This really light gray purple. This purple brown. This pink brown. Uh, this peachy color. Again, I think this is I think this is dark brown. 
we have this light purple, light purple, um, blue, like a dark, dark blue right here. And that color right there is going to be like a dusty rose peach. I know they like these, these color names, like the, the names I'm coming up for these are just really far out, but whatever. Okay. Our first AB is going to be this purple right here. Our second AB is going to be this beautiful white color right here. As you can see, you can see the, the Aurora Borealis on the top. And then we have another AB and this is like a red. Yeah, this is a red color. And then we have another AB and this one is a light pink and another AB and this one's a blue. And then we have a regular color over here. It's kind of like a um, beige. So I guess we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five ABs in this kit, which is wow, amazing. The more ABs, the better. Next up, we have brown. Again, that weird color, this light wine color. We have wine blue mint blue 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 <laughs> so many blues we got more blue brown red gray mint green purple this darker blue kind of like a like a mm, i'm gonna say like a not a turquoise but kind of like a uh, ocean blue i don't know we have this gray over here, and then these two colors are like a beige color. Next up, we got brown, blue, this ugly green, brown, what is this, wine brown, blue, this really beautiful light peach, blue, um, this beautiful blue right here, we have another blue and another blue, so yeah. As you can see, these are very, very um, cool colors, right? They are very muted colors, except for the ABs. The ABs seem to have more color. So, you know, we have that blue, that pink, that red, and the white, and that purple right here. So, color scheme-wise, I see a lot of blues and a lot of grays. But anyway, let me know what you think about Snow Queen. Would you get her? tell me there are 10 hours left in the black friday sale that they got going on right now it is black 70 the code is black 70 and you get um 70 off your second kit so if you buy one you get one for 70 percent off and i think that's great okay so you can get any kit that you want for 70 percent off if you buy one at regular price um i don't know if during the time that i upload this it's still going to be going on Okay, I don't know by the if by the time I upload this, it's still going to be going on. But there is Cyber Monday. I don't know what Dreamer Designs has up their sleeves for Cyber Monday, but you never know. Just always check. Please use my link in the description as it helps me. Um, I am an affiliate with Dreamer Designs, so it does help me a little bit with commission, and it's, it'd be much appreciated. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I love y'all. Have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.